Trini Girl Natural. Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel. I wanted to get on and just show you how I do my clay treatment. So this is something I kind of like to do every six weeks, but I never do. I do it like every three months, which I guess works out fine. So the clay treatment is really nice for just helping to reduce frizz. It's also a cleanser. Depending on the clay you use, it can also be a conditioner. You know, it helps with moisture too, at least the way I do mine helps with moisture. I don't really recommend doing it all the time. <laughs> I know some people do it all the time. Because the clay itself does have a kind of high pH. So I do use um, apple cider vinegar to try to balance it out, but I still don't do this often. So there are many clays, and there are many clays that are actually good to use. I have a few, but I did this one with bentonite clay, which is kind of the simplest one. The most readily available, a little bit goes a long way. So there are two types of bentonite clays, the sodium and the calcium. The calcium I think is actually better for the purposes of cleansing and you know for what we want. Um, but I think the sodium is cheaper and it's sold, I think it's easier to get. I mean if you have the sodium that's fine as well, it's just not as cleansing as the calcium version. The sodium version also swells more so I guess less goes further. It is somewhat messy, especially if you mix it too thick. So my advice is to not mix it too thick. You don't need to look like you just dyed your hair. <laughs> you know, I did mine kind of thick this time just because I was kind of lazy, but you know, it still wasn't super, super thick. And it doesn't have to be super, super thick for it to work. You can actually make it like runny and put it in an applicator bottle and it's going to work just fine. A lot of people just do this with apple cider vinegar, but you can play with it. Like I definitely agree with adding apple cider vinegar to help balance the pH but after that you can add some of your favorite things you know so whether it's aloe vera juice honey oils and I definitely like to add oils for slip you don't have to stick to one recipe you can kind of play with it so that's about it I just wanted to get on and just show you how I do my clay treatment so take a look at my demo so I'm using sodium bentonite clay I'm not much of a measurer, but I just add water until it's all mixed in and smooth. Notice I'm using plastic. You definitely want to avoid using any metal near the clay to avoid the metal leaching into your clay mix. Then I add some apple cider vinegar. Maybe a tablespoon, I guess. <laughs> Then I add a generous squirt of honey. I call it the teddy bear honey because I can't really bring myself to use my raw honey on my hair. I'm just not that, you know, <laughs> into it, I guess. Then I add my coconut milk or coconut cream, which just really helps with just smoothness and moisture. I don't know, it just makes it feel amazing. Then I add lots of oil, generous dollop of oil, just to make sure it has some slip and just help with moisture and everything like that, moisture retention. And last but not least, I add some aloe vera juice until I get the consistency that I want, which is generally runnier than this, but I didn't really want to go through the hassle of an applicator bottle, so I just decided to just, you know, leave it kind of kind of kind of thick so that's about it just keep stirring until I mix it in so mine usually is kind of lumpy if you get your smooth you can let me know but I'm not that pressed you know nobody dies because it's lumpy I just kind of mix in the lumps like <laughs> work in the lumps into my hair with everything else now it's time to apply it to my hair so you know this is my hair already detangled since I detangled at the start of my wash day I just kind of apply the clay around the crown and just around the edges and you know just kind of put it on my hair and then I smooth it in and when I'm done smoothing it then I carefully I wouldn't say rake but sort of I carefully kind of work my fingers through just to make sure I get it everywhere because my hair is really thick so I guess you could say rake, but just really slowly and carefully. There's a slip still, it's not all that great even though I have the oil in there. I didn't show it here, but definitely after the product is all worked in, I do kind of scrub my scalp with it just the way I would a shampoo. 
to make sure I get my scalp clean. And that's it. That's how it looks after applying the clay and just working it in everywhere. So I just, you know, put my plastic caps on. I have to say caps because between my big head and my thick hair, it's just really hard to get my hair into one plastic cap. The only way I can is if I do like a plastic bag first and like flatten it down with like a scrunchie or something. But if I just use plastic caps on my hair, using two is generally the easiest thing rather than fighting the struggle. So I let it sit with the plastic cap for like 20 to 30 minutes. Then I remove the plastic cap and make one more check for tangles and just, you know, one last work through before rinsing. So this is the result. And then I rinse and rinse and rinse <laughs> like I just keep rinsing and rinsing until the water runs clear just to try to make sure I get all that clay out because I don't want to be sitting with clay on my hair and voila <laughs> clay treatment done I have like smooth soft moisturized hair um, less frizz you know it's just a nice treatment that to do every so often so that was it, that was how I did my clay treatment and I really love the result. My hair is just so smooth and moisturized and you know a lot of the frizz is gone and stuff like that. I definitely recommend it for those who are interested in kind of controlling their frizz or interested in getting a little bit of a moisture boost or interested in using it as a cleanser. It is a mild cleanser I will warn you so don't expect it to take out your silicones and stuff like that but you know. Maybe if you want to do some kind of low poo, low poo thing and you're not using heavy oils or mineral oil or silicones, it's also an option for a cleanser. I do like my traditional shampoos, but I do use this occasionally as a cleanser. So, that was it. That's, and that's pretty much the only treatment. I just do the tea, protein, and the clay. Like, that's about it. That's about as complicated as I want my life to be, I guess, you know. And they're all uh, pretty effective for what they do. So, yeah. Okay, I hope you had fun. I hope this was informative. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.